experience that I had, I've had several of them, but this was just a reaffirmation as this was like my fourth or fifth sort of confirmation of, um, of the life of my son, Ivan, of one of my sons, my eldest. Um, so Friday, I was leaving work and I have these talks with Ivan in the spirit world. I am a firm believer that they can hear us. It's kind of like cellular phones and, um, and things like that where it's not connected to anything, but it's traveling on a different megahertz. Um, you know, we just can't see them or, or hear them. Some who are more in tune, where their brain is more developed in a certain area, maybe be able to see them like children who can hear better than adults, you know, as the tympanic uh, eardrum starts to get less and less as we get older and children can hear things. That's why they're more susceptible. Um, so I firmly believe in that communication. I, and it kind of goes to the same adage, what you put out into the world, you get back um, in that same manner. So I said to him, you know, that I love him. I miss him. And um, he hasn't come to me in a dream in a while. And, you know, I'm getting, I get, I want to see him. I'm being, you know, like, you know, greedy. And I get this feeling that he is being a guardian for somebody or he can't really just come and come as he, as I would like him, you know, um, kind of like if I have called him and he's at work, he can't really talk to me because he's at work. So this is kind of how I feel that he's a guardian for people. Like I really feel that way. So I said, you know, if you can't talk to me, just send me a message through somebody, whoever you're visiting or seeing so that they will just kind of give me a hint about them. So this was Friday. So lo and behold, Saturday, the next day at 3.06 p.m., I get a text message from a young lady who was someone that Ivan was interested in back in his home and where he was living and I haven't talked to her since she happened to get up and go to see an uh, uber job and the street was named Ivan and she asked can she talk to me about Ivan and of course I'm like yes and I'm starting to crack up because I haven't talked to this young lady I don't really know her I haven't met, I, I only met her at Ivan's funeral and um you know i didn't know anything you know really about her or anything like that so she she felt you know she had to talk to me and when i talked to her she was like i just have this feeling that i had to talk to you about something and she was concerned about the way how ivan passed and i put her mind at ease i don't think she understood how he passed and you know it wasn't a suicide it wasn't murder it wasn't an illness it was just an accident my son slipped and fell off a cliff and um, he died for, due to hypothermia so you know I let her know that there was you know there was a video camera that kind of showed all the not everything but kind of you know led to the, the point that answered you know what a lady had happened to see him and it was all you know this was on Ivan this was now if you tell me or ask me do you I think that may be demons or an evil thing yeah I, I certainly believe that there is some sort of spiritual warfare I don't know to call it under your God Jehovah or any other God of Allah or Vishnu or Buddha I don't know I just know that there's another level of consciousness that there is you know a battle there's a battle here in our world in our reality in this dimension so i could i i think that maybe there's something there and i firmly believe that ivan has always been since he was a child a baby he always had that sort of connection um i don't know where it came from or maybe that's why he always used to tell me mommy i chose you from heaven to be my mom and we had that bond and I firmly believe that but for me to have asked him to just send me somebody who's thought about him or he's been visiting to come see you know call me and just let me know and she did I was in shock and I am delightfully happy about it that's my way of dealing with grief and that's my belief and my belief is coming up 
with, for me, confirmation, you know. I just thought I should share that and I hope that if you're dealing with grief, that you find some peace and solace um, in this. They do communicate with us. I think that sometimes we grieve, some of us grieve so hard and so much and then we forget the grieving process and we become pitiful like oh woe is me because I know I go through that every once in a while I start to cry about Ivan and I'm like oh woe is me and then sure enough I'm like oh I, I can hear my son's <laughs> voice in my ear like oh you big baby stop crying you know like it's not don't be so pitiful don't it's not about you really it's really about the loss of your child or your person but you would keep on going so that's what I'm trying to do and uh, I hope my message, part of it comes to you the correct way, which is, you know, your loved ones are not really gone. They are there. They're just not in our reality. We don't have the glasses that we can see that spirit world, you know, like some people have those specter glasses that they don't see color, but then when they put those glasses on, it changes the specter of their color. You know, I, we don't have that invented yet, but any of you smart intelligent people want to invent those glasses like the 13 ghost glasses let me know i'll be more than glad to try them um until then i wish you all the best um tell me what you think go ahead and write it below in my youtube page and i hope to hear from you some more they are around us you just gotta listen all right signing off